Within weeks of the 9-11 attacks, President George W. Bush, he launched Operation Enduring Freedom, and he sent 1,300 troops to Afghanistan to hunt down the architect of the terrorist attacks, al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden, and the Taliban insurgents who offered him shelter. Now, over the course of 20 years, 100,000 Americans joined the battle. Nearly 2,500 never came home. And countless others, like Staff Sergeant Travis Mills, they continue to carry the scars of that war. I don't think I would have probably joined if I didn't have the 9-11 uh, terrorist attack happen. Travis Mills was fresh out of high school when he signed up with the 82nd Airborne Infantry. He saw his share of combat over the course of three tours of duty until 2012 when he placed his backpack on a militant's IED, an improvised explosive device. I don't regret anything. I wish I wouldn't have got blown up, but can't change the past. Though he lost both his arms and legs in the explosion, Staff Sergeant Mills insists he feels no bitterness. I wanted to make sure that I defended the freedoms of this country. I wanted to take care of the, you know, Taliban that did that to us and make sure that they understood like that was a completely wrong move and nobody messes with America. Um, who knows where I'd be if 9-11 didn't happen, but I'm grateful for my service, thankful for the opportunity to serve this great nation of ours. A quadriplegic, Mills' amazing strength, courage, and will to live enabled him to become only one of five service members ever to survive such catastrophic wounds. If not for his loss of limbs, Mills said he would have returned for another tour. If for no other reason, he said, than to help the Afghan people continue to build schools and hospitals and dig wells for clean drinking water. Though distressed over the way we left Afghanistan, he says it wasn't all in vain. I hope everybody can just see the good that we did. It was probably the right time to get out of Afghanistan. It just was horrible planning and should have been done better. Now a father and a motivational speaker, the retired veteran has formed the nonprofit Travis Mills Foundation to assist post 9-11 veterans who have been wounded in active duty. And he provides a retreat for them and their families in Maine. 20 years later, Staff Sergeant Mills remains grateful that he was part of the response to the worst terror attack on American soil. Red, white, and blue bleeding, hard charging American uh, door kicker right here. So I was just grateful to serve, thankful that I had the nation support behind me. And um, I feel bad for the people of 9-11 that suffered so tragically with civilians. And you know what? At the end of the day, let's never forget what happened. And we haven't. Nor have we forgotten the servicemen and women who answered the call to duty, like Staff Sergeant Travis Mills. He lives by the motto, never give up, never quit. A true American hero.